guys welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel consider subscribing by the way don't forget to press the notification bell it will be the only way you'll be updated when i upload a new video for the returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to this channel and today's video we are still looking at oman the new labor law in oman in today's video we are going to look at what is the gratitude what is the noc role in oman most of you have been living in oman most of you are planning to go to oman as for work for any other business as especially for right now we are talking about work but again there are some few things that you need to know or there are some things few things that you need to be aware when you go to that country to work first of all you need to know uh, the labor laws that are moving that are, are being uh, uh, applied in that country and today's video we are going to look at NOC someone asked me a question or someone asked a comment question and said what is NOC required to change jobs in Oman the answer is yes remember when we look at uh, when we look at uh, the Royal Oman uh, decisions that we amended somewhere back uh, you find that there was a decree of 4015 whereby article 1 of the article 1 of the labor law replaced article 14 of the executive regulations and what does it mean that there were some new amendments in article 24 meaning that those changes would allow someone to move or switch to another job or to a new employer provided there's some restriction or there are some steps that he needed to follow at one moment of time let me hope i'm right remember when you're talking about these gulf countries some of these things we take so lightly like the articles in the labor laws they're so very important that you need to understand we need to understand them as much as we have we want to push to other steps going to new employment, going to new jobs. But some of these amendments are very important for us to know. In today's video, we are just I'm just going to read through what of the summary of what you need to do. And exactly, for the person who asked for the NOC, what exactly the executive regulations or the amendments that we have made regarding the NOC. Remember, the Royal Oman Police decision amended some provisions of the executive regulations of the foreign residence law issued by the Royal, the Royal Decree, that is 40 or 15. Article 1 replaced Article 14 of the executive regulations, meaning that with the amendment of Article 24, new changes were made and an employer would change would change an employee will change the employer changing in jobs meaning it became a little bit easier as the amendment of the article 24 however those amendments had some regulations that you are supposed to follow before you can change jobs yes noc is not mandatory for you to change jobs you don't need noc to change to another employer but you need to follow some guidelines for you to change to a new employer. And those are the guidelines I want to go through such that you can clearly understand if I'm going to change, what am I supposed to do? If this is what, what am I supposed to do as the employee? One, changing jobs in the country made easier with, without being required, without requiring NOC requirement in order to change a sponsor. However, a few conditions you must follow. One, the expatriate residence visa may be transferred from one employer to another who has a license to recruit workers, provided the, 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 provided the evidence of expiry of the contract is presented with proof. What does it mean? That for you to change job to another job, to another sponsor, you need to first complete or to, to must have finished a contract with a former employer. And it must be provided with proof that you've completed, a contra uh, you've completed your contract with the former employer 
then you can seek to change employment or a, to a new sponsor. And it's not just going to be a matter of saying or speaking words, but you must provide proof. And that must be either a written document that is coming from your employer that he has completed contract with me. Sometimes there are some companies that ask certificate of service, which you must provide. Condition two, the employee has to prove that they have completed the contract with their previous employer to join another company. Hope that is very clear. So for the, my brother who asked for the question uh, about changing jobs, yes, you can change job without NOC, but you need to first complete your contract with your, 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 your employer before you can change, your former employer before you can change to the new employer because they will ask for proof. Hope I've replied to you rightly. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, don't forget to, to support this channel by subscribing and clicking the notification bell to be updated whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.